I would say that there's two big drivers about where rates are sitting at the moment. Um, the first of that is debt. Uh, so debt levels across the world are very high. Um, you can kind of look in, in many different places and, and they're sitting at, at high levels. So in Australia, it's the household sector. In the US, it's the government. In, in Europe, it's the government. No matter where you look across the world, generally there's some sector that has a lot of debt sitting in it. And when you think about debt, the interest rate is what makes that debt serviceable. So if debt levels were to rise too quickly, there, there's certain segments in each market that would probably pretty quickly come under stress. And that generally keeps the central banks trying to keep interest rates low that's so that everybody can, can continue servicing it. Well, the, the, the normalisation of rates is, is kind of a relative thing to me. Um, if you look back kind of 15 years, which I think is probably the, the crude estimation people are saying, 15 years ago rates were at X and now they're at Y. Um, debt levels were, were much lower then. So one, people could handle the higher rates um, because as they move higher, you don't have as much debt, so you can pay it back. Now that the debt levels are higher, as they move, you need to be a little bit more careful. The, the other thing that kind of plays into that idea is that um, our memory of rates is kind of what we've seen. If you were to extend your memory back to the 1900s, which is probably a little bit too long for, for most people, if you look from, say, 1900 through to 1960, interest rates were somewhere between 3 and 5% in the US. So yes, they're low, but they're, they're not too low by kind of pre 1970s standards. They're just not where they were at, say, 15% 20 years ago.